Hey everybody, this is your girl Tiffany coming to you with a quick review. I'm going to make it short and sweet, but very detailed. So, I wanted to review the Dream Velvet Maybelline, the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. The color that I have is the darkest one, of course, 95 Coconut. Um, I like this. Just, just to sum it all up, I'll post a picture. Um, I, I, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of me wearing it and you know that would post it and let you guys know that I will be putting the review up today and I just want to say that picture if you saw it and I'll put it in the end of this video that was the end of the day I have worn that makeup I think it was a day off I think I had it on like all day I put it on like right after I got the kids you know ready for school and that was me about to take my makeup off for the end of the day and that's how it looked so uh, with that being said I have worn this a few times I do have it on right now and I'm about to take my makeup off um, now so this is how it looks I did just touch up here I'll be honest I just touched up with a little bit of powder right up in here um, not you know just real quick for the video because it was a little bit too shiny um, however I do I don't charge that to the foundation because I do under this have on natural radiance primer and I also have on um, max strobe cream too so I've been really every time I saw recording she went to bark but um, I do, um, I've really getting, gotten into like the glowy skin, so I don't mind a little bit of the dew <laughs> that I have going on here. But um, especially by, by being in the winter time, I don't want my skin to look really powdery. But anyway, it says, fresh, new, and flawless dream velvet whips a fresh gel into a velvet soft texture. Complexion is perfected and smooth with a soft matte finish, just like velvet. Skin feels fresh with lasting hydration. I do like this. It's a medium to full coverage. It feels very natural on the skin. It doesn't feel really heavy. Um... I actually like it. I didn't even powder it um, today I did but the first day that I wore I didn't powder it the color is good if you're darker than me though though can I talk? Um, if you're darker than me however you might want to mix a little bit of the cover effects drops in it it's it reminds me of max studio sculpt however max studio sculpt I think is even more hydrating it's not a matte it doesn't dry down to a matte um, it makes it, it makes me wish that i love max studio scope don't get me wrong like i love it um but this one is more oil controlling so if you are you know oily you like but you like a kind of glowy dewy foundation this is definitely something that you should pick up if you can't afford mac products um this is definitely something that you could pick or you should pick up it's not like a water-based consistency to me though i wouldn't say that it is like a gel this is the color kind of blended out onto my hand there as you can see um but the powder i mean but with the powder i like it better um in the picture you can kind of see the difference of how my makeup looks today as opposed to how it look on that picture it does have kind of a reddish or orangey undertone without a powder however i did set it today with a darker powder just to kind of bring some of the, the chocolatey-ness <laughs> into the big into the um my face but I do like it it is long wearing and yeah I, I was impressed obviously and I just had on the um, natural radiance I did put a little bit of the diva I did put a li little bit of the um, Rimmel Stay Matte Primer on too, but it did keep me matte like a long period of time. Like I think I only touched up pretty much like once that day, and then just now was the first time I touched up, and I'm like, literally like after I get through with this video, I'm about to take my makeup off. Um, so yeah, I mean that's really much, oh, I applied it with, what did I apply it with the first day? I'm trying to think. I applied it with, um one of the Sonia Castro and it's dirty because I used it today to put it on today I think the first time I applied it with this too it's a Sonia Castro brush that was in the holiday sets it looks like it reminds me of the Marc Jacobs face 2 brush I believe and I just kind of just stippled it into the skin I've gotten out of using sponges to put on my foundation I really like it better 
with brushes um being in fact that i have so many brushes i think that i should utilize them instead of a sponge continuously every day so that's why i use the brush and i do like it applied with the brush it wasn't streaky um it didn't break me out that's one thing that i've been kind of cautious of because i got a story to tell y'all about this particular foundation that now just because i haven't been doing videos and you know i've been working so much you guys because of my new um schedule with work and things like that i do try other products and i gotta tell y'all this story about this foundation that everybody just raves 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 about and i have to just tell you my experience with it i'm not saying that it's a bad product i just gotta tell you my personal experience with it and what made me like you know what i'm just gonna stick with my mac foundation like it got like i'm a foundation junkie i love to try new foundation i love to experiment i love to mix i love to try i love to see i love to touch and feel and you know i love it i love the different things that you can do with your face i like to try different mixtures and things like that and yeah i'm scared now i'm just gonna stick with my my mac foundations and i like um some of the drugstore things the new drugstore things that are coming out so i really do like this one i think this is a perfect foundation for someone that like one can't afford higher end or two um the everyday woman where you don't want to use your 50 dollars foundation every day and this is just something that you can just run around and go grocery shop and deal with the kids and things like that in very nice formula um so yeah that's really much all pretty much all i have to say um, if you guys want to know more um, details, if you want to see a video with me using this and applying this, I will do that for you too. I'm here, y'all. I'm back. Bye. <laughs>